right, 2 Timothy. Going to get in on the right division this morning. 2 Timothy chapter 2. I know it's sad, man, that so many people out there almost abuse things to the point that, uh, like, like 2 Timothy 2.15 is one of these passages, that a lot of, a lot of people that learned a couple of principles of right division so beat this thing into the ground that it almost makes you annoyed at the, at the very principle of it to, uh, to begin with. There's so many mid axe people out there that really are not qualified according to 2 Timothy 2.15 that just beat this thing over and over that because they understand time past but now and ages to come that they're these great Bible students of the Word of God. But guys, we cannot let... People like that detract from the importance of what a verse like this is saying. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And Paul tells Timothy here, we are talking about a skill. If I'm, a, if I'm building a brick house, you know, and I'm looking for workmen, there's certain skills I'm looking for in, in the men that, that are going to be workmen. You know, a, a, a great skill, I don't know if any of y'all's ever done any bricklaying or, or block work and trying to keep up with a good mason. You know, being able to keep up with a, by, by a, a man that's hand mixing mortar for a good mason is worth his weight in gold, man. Because that absolutely will wear your guts out, man. But what I'm saying is, 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 a, is, a, is a man that's building a house is looking for workmen that have certain skills and, and, and qualities in order to put them to work. And what we're looking at here in 2 Timothy 2.15 is we're looking at a skill that God is looking for in his workmen. It is not, a, it's not an option. It's not a, a request or, or optional. The very skill that approves a workman unto God is the ability to rightly divide the word of truth. And Paul tells Timothy how to develop this skill. He says, study to shew thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that is the, the skill that a workman must have. In order to be approved unto God is he must be a workman that is able to rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. Look at verse 15. Let's, let's read these verses. We just read verse 15. Look at verse 16. But shun profane and vain babblings. So in contrast to study, right? There's really, really two things here, right? Right? Paul tells Timothy what to do as far as studying to show himself approved unto God. And then in contrast to that, he says, but shun profane and vain babblings. Now, now bro profane, profanity really means secular or worldly. And what he's talking about here is a bunch of secular, worldly empty babblings of a bunch of men who have not studied to show themselves approved unto God. Guys, there are a dime a dozen. Turn on TBN. Go home, turn on Trinity Broadcasting Network and look at the profane, vain babblers on that channel. Turn on Living Faith Television, EWTN, whatever that channel is. Just go turn on any Christian organization. Go, go turn on Christian radio Go turn on all this stuff, and all you're going to find is a bunch of profane and vain babblers. Amen. And listen, man, it's usually a bunch of sociological gas. <clears throat> Making the world better. Mm -hmm. Being better, being a better me. How to improve myself and how to be a better you and a better me. And let's make the world a better place and making the community better and, and all this stuff. And it's nothing more than a bunch of secular, empty babble. 
That's all it is. Amen? You know what Paul said it's going to increase unto? You know what that kind of kind of sociological, making the world a better place. You know what that profane and babble, vain babbling leads to? It leads to an increase in ungodliness. Amen? How many of y'all, I mean, how many of y'all believe that? Look at your country. Is ungodliness increasing? Well, the last thing you need is another profane and vain babbler standing behind a pulpit don't know what he's doing. And when we get up and say there's a skill that God requires in his workmen, it ain't for you to snub your nose at it. And it ain't, it ain't for Christians to act like it's not a big deal. You're either going to study and show yourself approved unto God, or you're just going to be one of the other profane, vain babblers helping increase the ungodliness of the, of the society that you live in. 